Joe here. I'm gonna help you. Hello, Inspector Joe. This is the Chief of Police. We've had a hit and run accident. How bad is it? Pretty bad. Is there a witness? Well, if you go down to his office, you might be able to catch him. I'm Wasabi Munabi. Okay, I'm on my way. Hi, I'm Inspector Joe, part of the Cedar Rapids Police Department. I'm Joe Schmidt. We all work at the car parts factory, mainly car radios. If you would like to buy one, we even have car motors, car wiring, and car tunes. Mr. Smith, what did you see? I was taking a run, and I saw the guy get hit by the car. Did you get a license plate number? The license plate number was five, five, five. Easy. What did the vehicle look like? It was a white car! Did it look intentional or like an accident? The guy was driving super fast! Five miles per hour off the speed limit! Thanks, you've been a big help. No problem! You'd like to be of service! Would you like to buy a car park? Uh, no thanks. Bye. <laughs> Hey Joe, what's news in the office? We've had a hit and run incident on Portugal Drive and Staley Street. What time? 7.15 this morning. What about a license plate or car description? The tags are stolen and there are a billion white cars in the city. Any witnesses? Yes, one. He said he was jogging. But he was dressed up like he was going to work, not jogging. Maybe he runs to work. He works 20 miles away at a place called... Wasabi Wanabi. What do they make? They make car radios. So you said incident, not accident. It's just a hunch, but he might have been murdered. Well then, let's go talk to his co-workers. Mr. Benabia? Yeah. Who are you? I am Inspector Joe, and I am with the Cedar Rapids Police Department, and this is my associate, Buck Joe. What do you want? I'm really busy, and I only have a minute. Are you aware one of your employees are dead as of this morning? No, but it won't surprise me. Nobody likes anybody around here. So you think it might be murder? If you could excuse me, I've got some business to attend to. Thank you for your time. See you later, weirdo. That guy leaves a negative impression. Wouldn't surprise me if he was the killer. Buck, that's a big stretch. Plus, you don't have any proof. Yeah, you're right. I do feel as if he wasn't telling us the whole story, though. I agree. He seemed too eager to get out of there. Like we were pressuring him into spilling the beans. Yeah, that's the same impression I got. Since nobody lets anybody in that office, I think we have probable cause to enter the dead guy's house and find some evidence that the murderer is Mr. Benabue. Be nice. I'll go get a warrant. Okay, Buck, we're we'll looking for anything that would indicate he was about to be killed. Got it. You got anything, Buck? What do we have here? You can hack his email, there might be a clue there. Already done. Five J mails. Um, guess who? 
Mr. You Know Who. These emails were never replied to. What do they say? They observed that You Know Who was involved in a chop shop last year. That must have been that gang that got busted. So what? But the leader never was found. Dude, this is blackmail. Read this part. I'll have the money ready by 7.15. Just don't get, go get the cops. This is all the evidence in the world that I'll ever need. Yep, I'm convinced. Let's go get a warrant and go in. CRPD! The bad guy is going to jail for murder. He and Buck are okay from our this fight, and the guy had a great funeral. Catch you next time.